For many, beer is just something they drink on a Friday night. But for us, it's a hobby. And today we're going to show you why it's actually very, very scientific. Yeah. All right, we have a special beer today, everybody. We have a collaboration between Bottle Logic Brewing and Slice Beer Company. Slice? I've never heard of them before. I've only heard of them because I've had their other two collaborations with Bottle Logic. They had a double IPA and a triple IPA. The double IPA was actually the, I guess if you want to call it a base version of this, it was called It's Actually Very Scientific. It was a hazy double IPA. This is actually very, very scientific. This is double dry hopped. So that's what makes it very, very. Bottle Logic, when they do a collaboration, they call it a covalent. Because mm, they're nerds. Yeah, it's a covalent bond. To the untrained eye, this is a very boring label. But can you actually see what it is? It's a it's a it's a front coming in from Hawaii into the United States. Yeah, it's the water current map. Uh, so that's it's it's interesting. At first, I was like, okay, it's just, just like a teal with a yellow and orange arrows, and then you look closer, and it's like, oh, it's North America. There's the water current. Um, so once again, bottle logic, making things a little interesting. But uh, still, I think it's kind of I love arrows. How dare you? <laughs> uh, are you excited for this beer? All right, I go. am excited about this beer. That's enough talking about it. Let's get to drinking about it. All right, let's see if this beer has a tsunami of flavor. I kind of want it to be teal. I know it's not going to be, but... You remember which one was teal, right? Yeah. Jump the, the gummy shark one, right? Yeah. I was, I was almost like Jump the shark. You can check that out over here. What? what? <laughs> Excited. I don't want to have to lean forward. This is an opaque, uh, sort of like a darker orangish, more than a light yellow that we usually get from hazy IPAs. This will be interesting because the other day, me and you sat down, we filmed some videos, we did a green cheek review. Mm -hmm. So this will be a chance for you to compare it to a bottle logic hazy and see if you can really smell and taste the difference. It smells better than the Green Cheek Boys. Now this is something that's right up my alley. This is a double dry hop, double IPA. You get a lot more of those deeper, dank, tropical notes in here. More, I always find more of like a guava or a mango or a papaya, those kind of, of fruits. A little heartier, if you will. Uh, for me, it smells like a sweet armpit. This is one where I get mango and I get pineapple big time on the nose. No sweet armpits for you? Mango and pineapple. You don't have sweet armpits. You got dank armpits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this smells like it's going to taste really good. It does remind me a little bit of... Um, when we went to Monkish, it smells like their IPAs Ooh. a little bit. I'm 100% convinced it's going to taste way different. All right, let's find out. Pineapple. Yeah. Mango. A little bit of orange. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> God. Yeah. Um, this has everything that I like in a hazy IPA. It's got your sweetness up front. It's got all those flavors that you can discern. And then on the back end, it's just bitter to really round out that sweetness. I agree with that. Like I, a grapefruit rind, orange rind. I, I don't know. Like, I said I'd get pineapple. I do agree with you with orange. I just, I don't know how else to say that I like this. Well, you like it, huh? I like it. How is this compared to the Green Cheek Hazy we had the other day? This is better. Because this is bottle logic. Oh, wow. This is very tasty. I really, really loved the non-double dry hop version of this, and the dry hop version, to me, is just as good. Did I ever have the other one? No, they released this right before lockdown in 2020. Mm. They released that one for the first time. Um, but it was tasty. They've, they've brought it out since, but this was a new one. Uh, they got back together with Slice and said, just some double dry hop. Yeah, this is really tasty. Obviously, if you're not an IPA fan, you're not going to like this. 
Yeah, this but, is very IPA ness. But if you want to try a double dry hopped hazy, this is one that you could definitely try and I think you'll enjoy. All that being said, I'm going to give this a 4.5 out of 5. Oh, okay. I will give it a 4.25. Okay. Cool. So you really enjoyed this one. I enjoyed this one. Yes. Are you hopping back on the hazy drain? <sighs> I like green cheeks better. That one that we just had better. Just a little bit better. Um, the truth comes out. Bottle logic. Stick with the stouts. But they do make a solid hazy. They can do a little bit of everything, uh, like you talked about in that video, which I don't know if it's going to be out yet or not, but they'll see it when they see it. Um, but overall, this is a really tasty beer. One last thing, though, Mary. I do get maybe a twinge of alcohol in the end of this. Mm -mm. What do you think the alcohol percentage is on this? Nine. Even? Do they go to two decimal places or one? One decimal place. 8.9. Yes. This is an 8.7% beer. I'm losing it. I can only do the best I can game. only do with stouts. <laughs> um, this honestly, it may to me have a little bit of alcohol twinge, but you do not taste the alcohol in here whatsoever. Just like any of these bigger beers that can hide the alcohol really well, you got to be careful with them. And that's going to do it for today's beer review. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe. Tickle the bell icon, it'll ring and let you know when we upload new videos. But until next we meet, we're the Brimatures, trying every beer from around the world. One, One sip, sip at a time! time. Oh. Hit my tooth. Oh no. Well, we gotta go to the dentist. That's gonna do it for today's beer review. I hope you enjoy it. We certainly did. Certainly. Certainly. <laughs> you know what? It's actually very, very scientific.